My name is Sharon Martin, and I live here in Deal. And I'm a member of the Deal Area Historic Society. The Historic Society operates this little village of historic buildings, which were all located somewhere else and moved here by the Cheney family, which owns Harrington Harbor Marina. I think all of the buildings are interesting, and the fact that they've been moved here, but they were actually used, kind of gives them an extra wow for me. And this building is especially close to me because this represents the African-American community. This is a beneficial society meeting house, and it's the Sons and Daughters of Holland Meeting House. The Deal Mutual Aid Society was incorporated with the state in 1905, and it lasted until 1983. I actually had the pleasure of meeting the last living member of the society, Irving Harris. I mean, one of the interesting things, this is the actual building. It came right from up the hill on Deal Road, on Franklin Gibson Road, where they intersect. And the furnishings in here are the actual furnishings that were in the building when it was in use. You'll notice some little patches where the wood is worn and uh, so, I mean, to, to be in history, not just to talk about it, but to be in it is exciting to me. And a lot of people who visit have never heard of Beneficial Society. <music> Beneficial Societies do what they say they do. They benefit their members, and generally they benefited their members by providing help during sickness and at the time of death. The dues were 25 cents a month. For your dues, you got $60 towards your funeral. They dug the grave, and the bylaws required the members to all attend the funeral. In addition, mutual aid societies grew in the African-American community. As people were concerned about presenting themselves to be acceptable. We're coming out of slavery, we're trying to show that, you know, we're ready to be in the, in the community. So the expectation was you had to be pretty proper and upstanding to be a member of the mutual aid society. In fact, you couldn't just say, oh, they got a mutual aid society, I'm gonna join. No, you had to be nominated and you had to be elected. It seems like it's almost always been true and, and continues to today. Not only are we expected to do well, but often we have to do better than others to be accepted. And so this was one of the vehicles that African Americans could use to show that they were ready. The presence of this building excites me. Uh, it, it gave me a window into a piece of our history that I didn't know, and it, it's caused me to look at it and to think about it. And the result is I feel positive. It, it, it was a good thing, and to know that they were all over the country. There have been some new ones that have started around the country because of COVID. So we're still trying to, to to take care of each other and the fact that we care about each other is important to me. It, it just, it makes me feel good. Uh, so that I'm genuinely excited about uh, this building and what it means. And I think it's important for us to know about history in general. And I think as an African-American, it's important for me to know where I came from, that I exist, that I am part of the history of this country.